What up with it? Cure the QT couple. And as your kids grow and evolve, you have to grow and evolve the environment around them. And in the effort to do that today, we are going to be unboxing Jax's new car seat. This is an order off of Target Online. Kids Embrace is the brand. As you can see, they have uh, Batman Deluxe combination booster car seat. And they got a bunch of other different uh, options that you could choose from if you don't want Batman as well. So. We're gonna unbox it and see how well it works for Mr. Jackson right here. Five point harness for children, 22 to 65 pounds. He's about uh, about 32 pounds right now. Height 29 to 49 inches. He's about 31 inches right now. Let's see how well it fits for him. Let's open it and see what the assembly looks like. <laughs> now for the grand opening. Go ahead and open it up, man. Open the box. Let's see what we got inside of here. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Like it's all, it comes all in one piece, so the assembly ain't gonna be bad at all. It's, it's really gonna be nothing. But listen, here, kick this box to the side. And there we go. There's really no assembly for this. Let's open it. So, let's open it up. Let's rip. You excited? You really excited about this little chair, man. Oh, his hands are cut cold. Oh, he's getting there already. We got to set it up a little bit better. So that's pretty cool. They got the hands as uh as the cup holders right here. So hopefully I'm filming this in a way you can see it, but it has one little button right here on the back. And all you gotta do is press that in. You wanna keep the belt on the outside. Press the button in, and then it slides right into the seat like that. Boom, you can adjust the height of quarter. So right here is where the button is where you can adjust the height of the seat. Go ahead and sit in the Let's see how, let's see how you look. Let's sit back. Hey. Oh, and it has the wings on here too. Uh, well, his cape, excuse me. So it got the Batman cape up there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, kind of big to be a hundred with you. You like it, Jack? So you see the chair is a bit high for him. So let's lower it down in the back. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to uh, demonstrate with one hand, but you just push the button down. And you will be able to adjust the height. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it with two hands. But yeah, you just push this little button down and then you choose the notch. So I'm gonna move it down all the way to the very bottom. And let's see what the smallest configuration looks like for this chair. Give it a real good push. And then you can push it down like so. It looks like something to wear. So I'm gonna have to move something in order for it to click in. But that's all you gotta do. And you can adjust it. Just give it a real nice push. It takes a little bit of effort, but no problem at all. All right, so that's what it was. It was a little piece of cardboard. So beware when you're taking this out. Just flip it upside down. Give it a few little knots and that piece of cardboard come. Hold it with my legs. So just pull this little rope. The little buttons right behind there. So you just pull it, push it in there. Boom. 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 <laughs> now we got the notch in the bottom slot. All right, Mr. Jackson, go ahead and take a seat right there. Yes, sir. Nice little fit for him. He chilling. He chilling. Okay, and right here, if you want to adjust these, of course, they're super tight when you first get them. He can't fit under that at all. It's a nice little switch right here at the bottom. See this little metal part? You just lift that up. One second, baby. You lift that up, and then you can pull this. You can do it two hands. Do that for me. Pull this for me, baby. So there, I hit it. Boom. Stretch it out. Now do the other one. The other one. There you go. Boom. There you go. Simple as that. Once you got to adjust it, just let go. Put it back down. You good to go. Try that out. See if you can get in there now. And put those around your arms, sir. Yeah, smart boy. 
Other way. Put this arm under. Under, under. This way. Boom. There we go. Now we got a nice little fit. And if you want to make it tighter, of course, you can make it tighter. You can do it however you want to. Move these up. Boom. Let me get the little uh, knots from Mundy. Where is it? Stand up for a second. There you go. That's look close, but they got another notch right here, so I'm gonna move it back. So that's gonna be another adjustment that we're gonna make real quick. All right, and I wanna show how to adjust this because it's a little bit tricky, but if you reach down in the first hole, you'll see a little link like this. This is what's holding the buckle in there. You just get that guy. You turn it sideways. Sorry for the crazy camera work. But, uh, move it up real quick. You just turn it sideways. And then you can push it through. Thanks. Appreciate you moving that. You push it through, and then you can readjust it. Pull, pull that for me, baby. This black part right here. There you go. Pull it. Hold it. There you go. Thank you. Pull that. And now you got the buckle. Now we can pull the buckle all the way out. Green buckle. Mm-hmm. And we actually probably could leave it right there to be a hundred with you. But Daddy, if I set in here. You can reconfigure this buckle so that it's going through this way and comes out and use some extra space. So we're gonna go ahead and do that anyway. So just twist it again. And push it through. It's tricky, but not crazy. See, I got it turned right there. Push it through. Pull for another side. Boom. And there's your whole buckle right there. So, if you want it to come out this side, all I gotta do is just a little bit. Run it through the front. Put it sideways. Oh! This is good. Put it through here. Boom, like that. Then, put it through this side, make sure it's really secure. So, pull it through that way. Push it through this way. Lock it in. I'm gonna use two hands to do it. But, push it through, lock it in, you're good to go. Got it through, just give it a few good pulls to make sure it's locked in. It's good. Then we got our buckle readjusted. All right, now try to sit in again, if you will, sir. Boom. So put the, uh, put, put your bands on. Boom. All right. Now we're gonna buckle it up. Pull it up like that. Of course, if you had a car seat in the first place, you would know. I got it. You got it? This one kind of shaped weird. Okay, so for this one, you got two inserts at the top. So you just put it in like this. A little bit different from the one that we had before. Down, down. Down, down. Get in on that. Slide in over the top. Now you're about to be a superhero. Oh, push it in. Lock it in. Ooh! And there we go. We got this big old what? curtain over here on the side. We got Velcro, so I guess you could Velcro it up if you wanted to like that. Mama, Dad, that's me. And of course, we got the other Can side. So I wonder if they could connect to each other. Let's see if they could connect, Jack. <laughs> oh, so it's like a built-in blanket. Oh, wee. That's kind of cool. <laughs> of course, it looked kind of lopsided right now, but you get the idea, the drift of it. <laughs> you like it? You like it? Explode out of it. Go like this. There you go. Oh, Batman. <laughs> Hold him wide. Hold him like this. Ooh. You like it? You like it? Yes, sir. 
It feels pretty sturdy. Cup holders feel nice and strong on there. So now the last step is to put it in the car. You ready to put it in the car? Let's do it. All right, here's baby boy's old chair right here. As you can see, quite a bit smaller. It's okay, but this slant right here really has him sitting like way laid back at all times. You do have the ability to raise this top portion up on this chair as well, but it was mainly his legs that's, that was the issue. His legs hanging way over it, kicking the back of the seat, you know, not having enough room to really stretch out because it's all crouched up like that. So that's one of the main reasons we got the new chair. And to provide a little bit more room for a passenger, if we have a passenger up here, they can come back a little bit more without the seat taking up so much space, like here at the bottom. It goes right about in line with where the normal seat is, but because of the angle, his legs come out and it eliminates his ability to kick his legs and do whatever else he wants to do. Let's get this bad boy out of here. And I'm gonna assume that the new chair probably has uh, something very similar, where it has a loop like this. In the back, I already started taking it apart a little bit and it has these anchor points that you put uh, under the seat in order to make it truly 100% cycle. So let's get this bad boy out of here real quick. Okay, we got the car seat out. Got the air on because it is hot today, man. It's probably 100 degrees out here for real, for real, down here in old South Carolina. But I see a lot of people leave their anchor points dangling. It's pretty simple in the car if you're unaware. All you gotta do is look for these little logos right here. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Nice little logos right there. All you gotta do is look right near the logos and it'll tell you where the anchor points for your car are. So, like right there, it should be a little black bar going across somewhere near the logo, and that's where you hook in the little braces on the car seat. By braces, yeah, braces on the car seat, brother. And by braces, I mean, I don't wanna get it dirty, but like here, it's just these little points, these little parts. And I'm gonna unhook it so you can really see it. Give me a second. Let me show this as well because it could be a little bit tricky for you. Is just push this forward in order to unlock your uh, brace. I like that, that's newer than what our other one used to do. You press it in and it'll click in and lock with these right here. So that's really nice. It doesn't just dangle like the other one. So let me show you, look in there. See a little red, uh, here we go. This little red portion right here, you just push it forward and that unclicks your brakes right there. All right, so with this portion, once again, sorry for the crazy angles, but I'd rather trying to do it with one hand while recording. But see this right here. You ain't even gotta do much. You just find your brakes like I told you before. And this will click onto it once you uh, push it in. Boom. You make sure you got it on there. Just pull. Boom, you got it. So, you see that was in there? Now, this one I may be able to show a little bit better. Once again, there's the two. You find our little bar in there. You just push it. Boom. Oh, nope, missed it. There we go. Let me show here a little clip. Pull it, test it, bang. And with that, that really keeps it nice and tug. And now actually you can uh, tighten all this up as well. The final brace is at the top. This is old school. You just press the button, pull it off. It comes right around the chair. But with this, uh oh, just wrap around the headrest, wherever you want to put the car seat. Then you come back and hook it in here. This I'm definitely going to have to use two hands, but I'll show you once I got it in there. Boy, it's so hot out here. But for the top brace, you ride it through the middle of the headrest. So let me lift that up. I was thinking I need two hands, but I'm like, let me, if I'm going to show you, let me show you. And then there's normally a hook on the back of the chair. You hook it in like that. Boom. It's locked in. So now your, ch your chair nice and secure. If the seat belt, for some reason, don't follow through, that's gonna keep it nice and tight.
What's on the money, baby? Oh, it's a... It's a... It's a nine-year-old. Ah, cool. Then the final step, take the seat belt. Got this big old cape in the way, but there's a clear indicator right there. Belt here, you just loop it through, and I'm then, gonna, gonna of get, course, click it in I, on the other side. Gonna, All right, now we got the seat belt routed through. Plugged in on the other side. Got a cape in there too. There we go. Of course, just give the seat belt a nice little tub. Make sure it's nice and tight. And you see our seat belt kind of loose. Not our seat, but our seat kind of loose. So, just pull at your seat belt a little bit. It should snap back automatically for you. Pull the bottom as well. And have it nice and tight. So just keep doing that for a little bit and then you have a nice, comfortable seat for your baby. And this is a Volks, so if you're wondering what vehicle this is, this is the Volkswagen Atlas. Shout out to this vehicle, man, because it's real nice if you wanted to utilize the third row. All you gotta do, pull the handle up here. And the way it's designed, the whole seat moves. And you ain't gotta take the seat out in order for somebody to utilize the back because the whole seat leans forward. And that is super duper extra fly and very convenient so shout out to the car for that here we have the final view here's the car seat looks pretty cool looks pretty nice got the cape on there and everything and that's it man thank you for watching like comment subscribe it's been Q Jax T from the QT couple peace I'm gonna look a little creepy I ain't even gonna lie to you <laughs>